Hi Virgo! Welcome to your love reading for January 19th through February 19th. This is for anyone um, sun, moon, or rising that is a Virgo. And then also for anyone who is looking at a Virgo, you're interested in a Virgo, and you wonder what's going on in their life. Now it's a general reading, so that means it may or may not resonate for everybody here. The most accurate kind of reading for your personal situation would be a private one. Um, contact information is below in the description box if you're interested, but if not, um, just take away the pieces that really kind of click for you. And another thing is that sometimes, um, you know, when they're for a whole month, you might watch this right when it comes out and things don't make sense, but then if you come back a few weeks later, watch it again, all of a sudden it all falls into place or things that you thought made sense, um, made sense in a total different context. So um, we're going to start with singles, then do couples, and then do some uh, inf like further information for those of you who are in between and the reason I do that last is because pieces from the single and the coupled relationship um, part of the readings might resonate for people who are um, on again off again or also if your relationship hasn't been made necessarily official now overall for everyone though this one jumped out of the deck and it's the six of swords so that's saying um, a lot of you this month are going to need to move away from troubled waters into more peace and calm. And for most of you, this is going to be in relationship to um, your communication, learning to communicate more calmly. Um, and it's not to say that you're communicating abrasively, but you may be. And then for others of you, this will just be in regards to your thoughts. So now let's get started with single Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. What do we have for you? January 19th through February 19th. Five of Cups in reverse. So what this is saying is you're doing an awesome job um, focusing on the positives of being single. Okay? Leaving your hurt kind of in the past saying, you know what, that was a lesson for me. I'm not going to do that again. And then just being thankful for the new opportunities that can come into your life. So keep that up. Um, what it's saying is, though, you might not be in this place right now where you're super enthused or excited about meeting new people. It's a lot of work. Um, you might be thinking, gosh, you know, I really do want to be in a loving relationship, but I don't know that I want to go out and date. It's a pain in the butt to spend time with people, get to know them. Um, so some of you might have been maybe last month, uh, just because of that five of cups in reverse card, sort of focused on, gosh, you know, maybe that wasn't the right relationship for me, but I loved the comfort of it you know, your relationship of the past. and But you're finally coming to this place where you're focusing on the positives of being single, meaning that something better can walk into your life. Um, it's saying that it's okay, though, this month, if you want to just take a break and not really go out searching for a partner because they could just show up. Now, the thing is, though, when they show up, um, they could creep into your life slowly. This could be a friendship that evolves into a love relationship, or it could just be... Um, the kind of person who takes things very, very slow. Now, while that can be frustrating, as an earth sign, this is really important for you because um, it gives you more assurance and security in the relationship later that, you know, you did make a good choice, that this is the kind of person that you can rely upon, that they don't make rash decisions, that sort of a thing. Um, it would be like a relationship more built on trust. However, um, this month, you might be feeling kind of back and forth as far as your emotions go, how you feel about being single, how you feel about dating, how you feel about um, potential people coming into your life, maybe offering relationships or people that you are looking at for that. Um, you've got the universe card here in reverse saying that you're not quite, some of you, because I'm not getting this for everyone. I'm getting it at like a solid 40% though. Some of you are just not done learning your lessons and therefore ready for a relationship yet. And so that's why um, even if you do meet somebody who also could be an earth sign coming into your life and they take things very slow, that's a good thing because it'll give you the time to get to the right place emotionally where that relationship could work out. Now, you have a challenge here, the two of swords. Some of you have decisions to make um, about, you know, your single lifestyle right now. Um, do you want to be single? Do you want to date? 
that sort of a thing. And it's saying like there's a lot of hemming and hawing depending on how you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis emotionally, but that really logically you've kind of made your mind up as to what you're supposed to be doing this month, what you want to be doing, and it's less intuitively based, but that's okay to be in your head with your thoughts this month. The only thing I would cautious you against is to feel, um, is to adopt these ideas that maybe finding the right person is uh, a hopeless endeavor because you're dividing that then with the law of attraction, okay? Now for Virgos who are coupled, we've got some cards jumping r right out of the deck. I feel like you guys might have quite a bit going on this month. It says positive turn of events is going to happen within your relationship, okay? Now that doesn't mean that your relationship will get better. Um, it very well could mean that. I feel like for I would, I want to say like a 70%, that's what it means. But for the other 30, it will end and then something better will come, okay? Now, um, everything is circular, right? Wheels turn. Sometimes you're at the top peak of your luck. Um, sometimes you're at the bottom, but then, you know, luck changes. That's why people gamble. Um, and that's why casinos often take our money. <laughs> but what this is saying is a positive turn of events um, that are big, in your life is very likely this month for you. Now you've got the seven of wands, meaning that not everybody else is going to view the things that are going on in your life as a positive. So maybe you've made some choices that bring you here. You know, we co-create our own luck. Luck isn't necessarily real. It could be, you know, in regards to law of attraction and things like that, like what are we manifesting? Um, you may feel inclined to have to really defend your choices and your excitement about these about these changes not everybody will view them as positive but for you they are and that's okay now it says we've got the hierophant in reverse and maybe this is the reason why uh you'll feel a little bit on the defense about things is because you're wanting to take things in a direction that you haven't been doing before you may um not be doing what other people expect I feel like this might only be for one person, this message right here, but it's about, for example, maybe the expectation is with you and your partner that you would get married in a church with your family in attendance, and this is just like running away and eloping and sending a message to everybody after. Guess what we did? <laughs> and having to defend yourself about that, you know, maybe your father says, hey, I really wanted to walk you down the aisle or something like that. We really wanted to share this important moment in your life and you excluded us. And it's saying, you know, just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. Okay. So, but for the rest of you, what this would be saying is, you know, doing things in a different way isn't a bad thing at all. Doing things differently in your relationship than you have been before. That's okay. Um, it actually brings positive blessings. Um, now, you're not necessarily confident about that. And maybe that's the reason why some of you are feeling defensive or a little bit hesitant. Maybe your partner says, hey, you know, I'd like to do this thing differently in our relationship. And you're like, oh, I'm not so sure. But it will bring you blessings. Now, we've got the three of wands in reverse saying that, you know, keeping, continuing to do things the way that you have isn't actually a tremendous um way to invest in your future long-term relationship. It's it's not hurting, but the benefits are and the blessings are bigger if you change things up a little bit. Now, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So, it does say, you know, continue to be meticulous and detail focused as you are a Virgo and um get your ducks in a row, stay organized. Like that's that those are really good qualities to have. So it's not talking about um, work life scenarios or your home, your money. When, when I'm talking about changing things up, it has nothing to do with your day to day routines. Okay, keep those as they are, but something else within the relationship which will resonate differently for everybody. Now, for those of you who are somewhere in between, maybe you're not officially dating or maybe exclusively or you're in an on-again, off-again relationship, what do we have? 
Um, the Six of Pentacles. So be generous with your time, with your effort, with your love, with your money. That will pay off for you um, in the context of whatever is going on with you and this other person or not with the other person. <coughs> then we've got the Three of Wands in reverse again here. So um, it's saying... Be generous, though, in a way, when we're talking about the last card, um, without expectations. Like, if you're going to be giving love, time, energy to a person, you cannot be expecting anything in return. Um, you have to be doing it from your heart, okay? From Because that's how you're going to end up disappointed and um, maybe even resentful, feeling some contempt. So... You know, only I guess only give of yourself if you feel inclined to do that. Like if it makes you feel good to do that, not with a motivation attached to it. Um, that's the most fair way to behave within the context of what's going on with you in your relationship or not, or unrelationship, um, because that's how you're fair to you as well as your partner. It's not basically the message here is is that some of you may have the capacity this month to get upset at other people for not being able to read your mind. Um, so, you know, emotionally, do what feels good to you, is what this is saying. It's saying if... Now, there's something here about, like, if things are kind of chaos or dramatic, like, look at those things head on and then just act accordingly and what's good for you. OK, without expectation of how the other person should be act or should be acting or behaving. Um, now, you've got the tower here saying that some of you are just going to have to let go of these relationships as well as those expectations so that new, better things can be built in their place. Now, it could go a couple of ways for the majority of you. It is just like, let it go so a new person can come in. But maybe for some of you, it's like, go of the expectation, give of your heart because it feels good to you, and maybe they will surprise you and um, kind of give you even like a better experience than you even expected. Now I'm going to switch decks here and give you some parting wisdom. And it says, do a walking meditation one day a week for the next week. Now, it might be hard to do if you live in a snowy climate like I do, but, you know, you could even just walk around the mall. Just um, get your body moving a little bit without um, real excess stimulation so that your thoughts can kind of process on their own. Um, that will help make things more clear for you, especially if you're in an in-between kind of state. Okay, love and light. See you soon.